Outer Banks, it's a gray and raw day in Ocracoke as we look live. All today, we have seen images like this emerge from Currituck all the way to Hyde County. Water covering roadways, making a mess for things and for people trying to get around. 13 News Now reporter Adriana D'Alba picks up our team coverage from Rodanti. This is how flooded it's getting on Bozen Street in Rodanthe. The National Weather Service is urging people to be careful in these storms. Their advice to those who find themselves in severely flooded areas is to turn around, don't drown. Tonight, the Outer Banks and other parts of eastern North Carolina are on flash flood watch. The National Weather Service has issued a warning through Wednesday evening. Jeremy Griffin and his family still spent the day outside. They've seen it much worse in the past. We've seen it all the way up to the uh, garage floor. Yeah, so about six, five feet. But others are choosing to stay indoors. Well, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> Nowhere to go, with, especially with children. Diane LaVault and her family have been vacationing in Rodanthe the last 25 years. They've been through their share of wet weather, two hurricanes, and a flooded home. This time around, they hope the flooding isn't as bad as years in the past. Two years ago, we came in September, and the water was so bad through here that it came down over this way and went underneath the house that we were running over there. When the water finally receded, there were so many fish, little silver fish, that they were jumping up. Ready.gov is advising people under a flood warning to find safe shelter right away and be cautious when approaching severe floodwaters. Just six inches of moving water can knock you down, and one foot of moving water can sweep your vehicle away. The National Weather Service anticipates widespread rainfall amounts of three to five inches through tomorrow. In Redanthe, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.